This Sports Segment, sponsored by A&D Automotive Group, located in Dothan and Enterprise. Battle Royale. In fact, these two teams have been playing each other for 88 years and uh, quite a lot of excitement. Maybe not a region game, but still a lot going as far as bragging rights for whoever wins this. All right, and there are also additional Thursday night under the lights here in Houston County. It's the second week of action for independent schools as well. We got a good one at Northside Methodist Academy as they host the Abbeville Christian Generals. Now this year, the Northside Methodist Knights will play their home game at Layton Field, the old Ashford Academy gridiron. Now last week, both the Knights and Generals suffered tough losses on the road. Now for the Knights, they lost to Edgewood Academy, and Abbeville Christian was in Damascus where they lost also. The Channel 18 Action Sports Cam will also be at that clash, and it will have all the highlights during the 10 o'clock newscast. And in the River Region this evening, the Barber County Jaguars traveling hopefully to break the state's longest losing streak. The Jags have lost 41 consecutive games, folks. That's, in, that's unbelievable. And Clayton tonight taking on Nostagula and the Blue Devils. And guys, you can well imagine, Barber County has not won a game in five years since 2013. Uncle Benjamin, I expect a victory tonight. I may be going out on a limb with that prediction. On Wednesday night, University of Alabama Athletic Director Greg Byrne was the keynote speaker at the annual Houston Henry County Alumni Dinner. Now, Byrne, along with several tied athletic officials, greeted more than 400 members of the alumni club. Byrne says Coach Nick Saban and the team are working to win a second consecutive national championship. Byrne tells WDHN Sports that success in the athletic arena breeds academic success in the classroom as well. About the future, they want to hear, hear what's ahead. And, uh, you know, and one of the things we talk a lot about is one of the things we do great at Alabama is we honor the past, we stay very focused on today, and then create some vision for the future. And we've been spending time doing that lately. Now, with a little more than a week before their match against the University of Louisville at Orlando's Citrus Bowl, Byrne would not comment on who may be the leading contender as a tied starting quarterback. Ohio State University head football coach Urban Meyer will be suspended for the first three games without pay for mishandling a domestic abuse case. In Columbus, Ohio today, Coach Meyer asked for forgiveness in a news conference. I'm fully aware that I'm ultimately responsible for the situation that has harmed the university as a whole and our department of athletics and our football program. I want to apologize to Buckeye Nation. Now, during Coach Meyer's absence from the team, Ohio State will face Oregon State, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, and Texas Christian, except for TCU. The other teams are not highly ranked in the season. And at PNC Park in Pittsburgh Wednesday night, the Bucks and Braves in their final game of the series. Top of the first, that's Ronald Acuna Jr. Blast went deep to left field for his 20th homer on the season. It would prove to be an important run as the Braves win the game 2-1. to one. And guys, that's a look at sport. Come back to me here at Rip Hughes. Now things are starting to really heat up. Of course, game time starts at 7, uh, 7 o'clock. That's when we have the kickoff here at Rip Hughes. So you have plenty of time, whether you're from Enterprise or whether you're from the Circle City, Uncle Benjamin, I expect to see you here as well. After all, Coach White is asking for you, since you have still eligibility left, he is asking for you to be possibly put in the contest. I tried to talk him out of it. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. All right, folks. We'll have all the highlights at 10. Uh, all right. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, probably better off now than I uh, was in high school. Uh